continue to uh, be doubtful of vitality here just for at least one more map, just because, like someone said, they have, no, they haven't won a map. I think they are zero and four in the recent games. Yes. Um, on on it, and ever since Nevera, with with post Nevera, vitality has always been a question for me on this map because it always felt like Zywu was never really comfortable just being an arch opera as most people do and said he wanted to switch over to B. He's like buying the MP9 a lot. It's like, it felt like he had his like, you know, Britney Spears crisis moment where he was just like, leave me alone. Um, yeah. You know, I don't, I don't want anything to do with Even this. Even shaved his head. Even shaved his head, exactly. <laughs> uh, you know, leave free Brit Britney. Leave free Britney. Britney, yeah, free Britney. No, definitely. Um, but yeah. Uh, so for refine, reforging that identity, is, I think, is a big thing. But here's the hall pop, house pop to come through. The only A player left in Apex, blind and dead. Can't even call what happened because he doesn't know. Yeah, he doesn't know if that was one or three people, actually. Yeah. So three people, though, will be coming up middle. Well, and when you're not sure, just always say all. Just say all, all, all. All, all here, all here. <laughs> Makes it look like your death was less, you know. I don't trust people who don't call numbers. And I never trust anyone who says five. No, if they, if they they only if they say five, I trust them. Yeah. But uh, here's the 3v5 a retake of the CTs. Sight smoke comes down. Shock, really important. First opening kill. But then Flames makes the argument much more clear for OG. <laughs> and uh, player reloading out in the open. But it's all OG. Right now, it doesn't really feel like... Uh, I think I think Zaiwu is a is a big reason for that. I think he had nine kills actually in the last Inferno game. Why does he hate the map so much? I don't know, but it's going to be an important map for you know a of quality team like Vitality who are going to have to play the very best teams in the world in best of threes. It's just going to come up a lot. They don't want to end up having to ban it. That's just a weird ban to have. They've already got too many bans at this point, uh, you know, to to even include Inferno in that conversation. So it's just something that they've got to get, they've got to improve at. And I, and I also think this is going to be quite a you know real test of Kyojin, even though Dust2 is very nice. But here is already the convincing eco round. They've got the Deagle shots in. Kyojin gets his opening oh. kill. Oh my God! Flicks around for another. He can't take out Montu, but the job is already done. It looks like Montu low HP player on the outside of default. Doesn't even go down. It's the CZ rips him up, and yeah, crosshair placement. But he's playing like it's an arena FPS. It's like there. the iPad, the iPad flicks. You yeah. know, he just literally touches touches their face on the corner of his screen. And now Masuda, his brother in arms, uh, with the assist of the, <laughs> of the flames <laughs> flash, uh, knocks three down and, and makes tons of money, all with these uh, SMG kills. But flames answers back with two, and now calls into question the integrity of the round. Actually. It, it looks like it, it's still quite a clear sit cut situation for Vitality. The rotation's coming in, but right now Flames got this Galil in hand, and both players spot it. The bomb in hand could have actually ran back there. Yeah, there was an option. You know, if you got to think about dodging this Molly and throwing your smoke here, and this flash that comes out on this timing for this tactic, it, it's it's mostly about being smart, and I think that's why you know people really favor Inferno. But but yeah, from we, we saw a glimpse of it with that Deagle. Yeah. Masuda with the bold, no purchase whatsoever, or other than armor. But it looks it looks like Zaiwu will be the one to. Uh, it's gonna be the op mule. Take then. the point, yeah. Zaiwu might be able to afford it, depending on the amount of MP9 kills. He said, "You save anyway." <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this! Apex getting right deep in the T steps, oh taking a lot of damage. He's though. not winning that duel. Actually. That's a Glock, by the way. Overall, losing that duel, yeah. Yeah, a he Glock with no armor. He's basically the worst. Yeah, he was the worst of the two players there. <laughs> oh my God! That, wait. Oh. oh. Okay, hold on. Okay, dude. Valde's doing a lot. That's with at this least. Glock. Can we count the Glock things? That was at least seven. Yeah. All right. Zaiwu puts an end to that. As he does to most things. Yeah. The dream killer. Yeah. Still aggressive position, actually, from Vitality, or they haven't really rotated back to their normal setup. But it doesn't look like it'll really matter as OG are not opting for the Hall's pop, which was briefly the opportunity in this round. So Vitality, yeah, they're looking pretty good right now. Can you rate the three strats, Rush B, Rush um, rush pop. Mid, and Hall's pop? Mm, uh... I would I would give Alexi B right now, you know, not not the best rating, but I mean it's it's early days. He he wanted to keep Vitality honest there. I mean by by using all three of those strategies, you are actually conditioning uh, conditioning them to think that you can go anywhere. Yeah, he might even be confused himself, but they'll never know. They will never know. Another Glock thing comes in, but no kill this time. Saying uh, Alexi, I'm going B, but sometimes Alexi is going. A. <laughs> That's his patented strap. <laughs> okay. Nades are coming down thick and fast to the bottom of Banana. 
and they do a great job of boss hopping up flames. He could easily die at any moment. You never know when they're when they're going to come through with a spam. And, and actually, somehow he wins his duel. Masuda flies through that smoke, thinking that something is clear there. There's not even a, a actually. I don't know what what gave him the idea that it was it was totally totally clean. Maybe Flames was blocking his jump up to have him half blind. I don't know. That was some kind of mental duel, mental um, win for the for for OG. They expected Masuda to do that, but they were right. Yeah, it was a curious play for Masuda. It was a bit strange, right? It didn't seem like they had the supporting flashes or anything, but okay. It, it, it feels like OG are going to full commit through this. Of course, we've got one player in the in alt just cutting down, cutting off this mid rotation. It's become much more common to rotate through CT spawn for the retakes overall. And Flames with very low HP is going to look for the entry or it just hopefully gets some information and then his teammate can try to refrag. Zywoo from the corner actually gets away with his life and nobody is getting a kill here, getting into the site. Two on three situation, one player over a quad. And still Zywoo posted up from the coffins with a nade to land directly on top of Montu's head and pool, but doesn't get the kills. I was angle a bit too tight. Misses uh, misses a shot, messes up his movement a bit, falls off the coffins. Awkward situation. Volda from above. And Apex continues to have input. Two, pa two ver Crank it up a notch. He's going to need to get into his old uh, just IGLing kind of pants because right now he's... Yeah, the raw denim. Yeah. Get it back, back in the raw denim. He's got some nice fades on those too. Yeah, they're comfy jeans. Yeah. He's really worn him in. So. Good nades early yeah. on. And there's, there's an option for OG here. They and have quite a few smokes, but uh, at present, it looks like they will be going for that bracket play. I think there's a smoke towards the arch side there. And no strong contest in terms of manpower for Vitality, mm. but that Molotov will slow OG's approach. Mm. Yeah, no, make no mistake, if this if this game, this map ends up becoming, you know, Vitality winning by a small or a big margin here as they clean up on the eco, this would be a pretty sizable upset considering Vitality's own win rate, which is zero, on this map, and also how uncomfortably looked on, on uh, uh, Inferno in general and how the recent form has been. And consider, oh. and like how, uh, you know, opposite that's been for OG. Is there a chance for a plant? No, I can't. Okay. Well, a kill at least. No plant comes in. It's definitely an element of a, it feels like they're beating themselves too, not just Vitality playing well, which was, there was some special magic in that first map where it was hard to put your finger exactly on what was the main issue. There was one. There were just too many slight losses in a row. But uh, yeah, things looking equally bad or, or you know, even worse here on, on Inferno so far. You know, a great flash to come into the site. My God, what, what, what on earth? Just what was? What, what, okay, well, I, okay, I don't know. But there was uh, a flash. There yeah. was a flash this time. Masuda said, "You should have killed me the first time." Here, I'll, it, it was like uh, it was a homie stock, really. That's yeah. what it was. This is this is the flame special though. But oh, Apex right in front of the smoke. OG want to plow through. They get stopped in their oh. tracks, and now Shox is here in the rotation. And OG, they're just getting red. There's every time they're entering a bomb site, there's multiple players from Vitality there. But now it's a two on two, and it looks like Valde is rerouting all the way through apartments. Man, this is such a this is a slow way to approach. I feel like they had the right to come up mid quickly. Valde went around back through halls. And now, I mean, it's a mid-round situation, but it balances out for the CT side once they go this slowly. I guess it's an interesting move to get into halls. But a Kyojin, is he making is he making a a, a very oh. smart move here by by getting up into here? And now the trade might come down. Okay, the no scope refrag, but now the one v one versus Zaiwu and Montu, and Zaiwu has man roster. It, they were gonna play a slightly faster pace. They were gonna actually just listen to Alexi B's ideas, but it actually seems like they've they've actually pitched it down a bit. Yeah, they kind of recessed a bit um, in, in some weird way, some very weird way. So very weird. Very, very, yes. very odd. It's weird, yeah. Just curious. Mercury must be in retrograde, in grade, or whatever. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's a, a, a great time for Alexi B with the stars right now. Yeah, it's the spring solstice. solstice. All right, well, Shox will be here to challenge at the short side. Spots the shadow. Great spray from him. Also a supporting flash, actually, from Montu. But Kyojin is just mopping him up, along with Zaiwu. Valde seems like he is LMS in a lot of these rounds, and that is not any different this time. How dare you?
It's the idea that we're missing. It feels like it's it's actually, it's not the ideas. It's the execution that's not great here for OG. So, you know, they can do more of the same and just try to make it work better. But yeah, it feels like the pieces are not moving as they should. Game plan right now, take over the hulls. Hold back on Banana. We'll see if they even attempt to go and try to take it. Bomb back on the steps. Just to tell us that this round is going to be on the, the a little bit of the longer side. They haven't made a decision quite yet. Oh, they already threw their pit smoke too. Yeah, this is usually going to sign for a straight up porch hit. And that does seem like it'll be a part of the equation, but Whoa. there's actually an R trap coming in simultaneously. Montu with the deep. entry on a Masuda and Zaiwu is just right there in Speedway. Great shot from him. He's quelling the situation nicely, but Alexi B, he's still trying to read the situation. He's trying to feel it out. Flames though, he'll be the first one to find the opener as Shox makes a play that costs him his life. Okay, they actually make kind of a fast rotation back towards the site with a Moda Smoke to push out the other player. This is a great round for Moji. I mean, not only do the kills come the other way, but they read the rotations perfectly. They even suss out that there's no one pushing down Banana, but they get the kill back on A. They have the Moto Smoke to actually slip by an extra player from the CT side. I mean, this is well orchestrated. Yeah, this is a round where Alexi B really trusted his individuals and it paid off beautifully. Now Apex will still try to fight something on this retake. He has a Molotov, but Zaiwu's already pushing on back. Now Apex might just be trying to find some damage. The money actually for Vitality is decent right now, so he can afford to take this loss and they may still be able to scramble a buy together. Oh, is he going to... He's a Molly. Yeah, is he going to throw that? That's that's the option here, right? Surely. The corner, yeah. But it doesn't look like the bomb is planted in too bad of a situ position. They, they're fine. They're yeah. fine right now. And he will find the one kill on the flames. That's that's pretty nice. And oh, actually, it does the damage to Alexi. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's always it's always got to be a combination of, you know, just a good call, but also the entries that came through. And it was just a very nice, uh, it was very nice to have that, kind of both of those chiming off at the same time. And it just shows us that they're at least capable of something that's quite convoluted. And, and, while it also looks quite cohesive at the same time. So what what happens now? It's a, it's a new look a little bit with a fast banana control early. And the CT side, they come to just check on top banana. And this is like very much like old Vitality where they were very, very quick to go back and get um, top banana control. I really love that about them, to be honest. They're going to make a rotation back, but they, they don't seem to be super confident about the idea that it is it is going to be a late A hit. Shock's getting into this very tricky cubby spot. OG, and you talked about this, coming and taking bracket control, not leaving a single person here. But uh, I just really appreciate how much, you know, Vitality are fighting for this map control every step of the way. Yeah, always finding some kind of information is key here. They don't want to experience the same thing that it, Double Pony did to them. Nice flash over the roof and uh, Flames. He spots out Masuda, but who will win the duel? Oh, that is huge for Masuda. Is able to maintain that space. And now Zaiwu peeks and prods, finds the kill on Damatu, <laughs> looking for more. Gets Alexi now. There's a player coming from the apartments and Valde actually does get him. So Zaiwu does not actually find anything else. Do we have odds? Uh, there's still, there's still a, a smoke here for Modo. We've got mini pick control. One CT coming up lane. Is there a chance for this duel to go wrong? There is. No, the 1v1 isn't one. Apex has been so strong on those 2Ks. And there is another round here, one for Vitality, but but not normally buy it. Yeah. And this is uh, after the previous round. It looks like Alexi B just wants to take the guesswork out of it. Looks like he'll be opting for the Halls pop. It's always nice if you're getting beat in the default. And with the success they've had, or they have not had thus far, this, uh, Really just makes things a lot easier on his troops. So, but Kyojin, is that the perfect molly timing or what? Lands right at their feet. One player is out, but Zaiwu is able to take him down, but they're segregated no at this flashes. point. Yeah, they... Okay, they get over on, on top of the Lurk Smoke and Lexi through the, oh my God, wow. no way they find these entries. That is absolutely miraculous. I mean, this is through the Lurk Smoke. They spammed in the pit, got the kill. Um, There's no accounting for that. Yeah, that was just through all the, the fire and brimstone towards that bomb site, And somehow OG are able to just see a little better. Uh, Got to check their video settings, see what's, what's the latest on that. Yeah, they, got, they updated their NVIDIA or what? Yeah. They're on 473.62 or 61. That's, that's a tough round to replicate, though, for OG. They will find that's their the third, but 
unless they have a lot more set pieces to rely on and we're all trying to move towards a sustainable future and this is a step in the wrong direction <laughs> yeah, right exactly <laughs> exactly there's just so much smog in that round yeah there's just pure plastic yeah <laughs> so uh, that yeah that, that and and, and that, the but Zaiwu is the man who will face off against him oh, this there is needs weird. to be a flash if flames wants a chance to win oh, this one that's so good because they you know the off at sandbags, I mean, such a confident. That's the Shoxy move right there. One of the very best aces in CSGO came from this position uh, by the hands of Shox. And obviously, Masuda has been, you know, playing there quite often. So Flamesy is thinking, okay, I have, a, I have an opportunity to take this duel one more time. Alexi, let me go Let me go take this duel with Masuda one more time real quick. And there he is, opping. But it maybe an equally important duel here, one inside the halls. Yeah, cu curious fight by Kyojin to go for this one. A little bit uh, just separated from Shox, who I think was more towards Boiler at that point. And Valde now ver playing a very patient game, letting the round develop a little bit, uh, letting his presence marinate, perhaps. And Shox is really close to pressing on forward. It looks like this fight is just integral to the composure of the A bomb site. Yeah, this is crazy. The amount. Oh, it's so tense, and oh, the instant headshot comes out from Shox. You know, MP9 has a pretty big advantage just because of Valda's HP, but Shox goes down and Zaiwu misses a shot. Another situation, okay, it's not quite clear. The bomb going down in the 2v3. There's still a little bit of utility here, and the Moto smoke to burn kind of half of that bomb timer off the clock. What will happen from this position in opening kill for Montu? And now we're already, I mean, we're almost in safe territory with how T-sided this suddenly got. Montu, you know, is not going to make a giant mistake in this position. And in fact, finds a, gra on a gap, excuse me, on the left side of the Moto Smoke. Still has that Molotov in hand. CTs haven't made a move quite yet. Alexi B from above. We'll see if he gets off. Nope, Zaiwu doesn't find him. And now Apex will try to run away, but he'll even die on the way out. Great post. Have huge impact in some games as an opper, but that, that was his rookie year as an opper. There's still so much more to show for Montu, and by stats, he was definitely top 20, so sky's the limit for Montu for a player like this. He hits all the easy shots and most of the hard ones as well. Pistols up for Vitality. Finally, a moment of respite here for OG as they've worked so hard to get this far. Yeah, but these rounds have been surprisingly tricky for them so far in this series, so I'm not going to write off anything just yet. Well, Kyojin falls, Zaiwu gets one, and all right, now now we can finally uh, take a breath. Yeah, I think that's that's actually very fair. I think if they get one more, they're feeling pretty good about their chances here mm -hmm. because they, they watch the demo. Surely they watch the footage, and oh, no, missing the boost here. Is, Dude, this is even with the training wheels. Yeah, this is... Uh, Still a good setup, and they'll make it in time, so no one from OG will hear them. And Kyojin, he'll be responsible for the balcony. Very important spot, but oh, wow, okay. Alexi B is double dipping now, going for the same Hall's Pop strategy once again. K-I-S-S, keep it simple, stupid. Flames coming out. Oh, with the AK in hand. I mean, barely gets that gun together. And now Zai was an inter interesting spot. He sees the bomb above him, and this is where he's so good at synthesizing these positions, but he gets flashed off, two players left, and they actually have to go and save because they're not going to have money to buy next round. Wow. Just goes back to that one. Alexi B, I mean, sometimes he'll go to the same strategy twice, usually in kind of a default sense, but I think that, that's that's bold. If I, if I make conject can i say that that works just go for it what's your thought it's a conjecture on my part because i don't know what's in his mind but from what we're seeing like coming back to the halls pops over and over again because of how worrying some of those early rounds were i mean it really does feel like a way to just what's the easiest solution that might work as kind of a oh they wouldn't expect this three times in a right in a half strat yeah but in a in another in another game it doesn't feel like he'd call like this no, it just feels like Vitality and the default are generally getting those openers, and Zaiwu, when he's kind of in these open... Make this any sweeter, I think, is to try it one more time, <laughs> potentially. But why not go again, you know? They'll never expect it. Like, you never want to have that fourth tub of Ben and Jerry's, but it tastes as good as a third tub, maybe even better, because you weren't supposed to have it, so... Diminishing returns, never heard of them. They don't exist with when it comes to these sugary, sugary Pulse Pops. Yeah, now Alexi B facing into the B site. This is oh, there's three here. <laughs> super bold by the leader of OG, but he doesn't fancy what he's catching thus far. Good boost, but Flames calls it out. Masuda to fall, and Alexi, great trade on Azaiwu. Montu takes down Apex, and this is generally money for OG, but oh, they, they are they are very separated right now. Montu could have gone for the plant, but he would have been isolated from his entire team. I think he heard both pairs of footsteps, so this is actually full rights to come back to A. They don't even have to clear the site here. So, you know, 
It's been a bit weird with Volda because it feels like some of the entries haven't gone down, so it's been, you know, he, he's been like last, he's been last up, but it's hard to say if he was too slow in some positions because like Vitality are also quite fast in some positions. So, you know, but but uh, but here's one, here's a round where you know that kind of lurk that he's been doing very often has had a clear impact. Shocks here, one v three, has nothing but a smoke and a kit, and. He's got to move quickly. He knows that. Trying to hold for that arch peak, and Montu is there to catch him. But for a moment, I'm sure they, you know, lost a vision of it just because, uh, you know, Vitality are definitely a new team today. Early challenge towards Banana, and that's what Kyojin's good for. And Montu, nice tap on his eye. I there. think they actually know the strat now because he saw the second guy going up. Yes. So, and Vitality have not pushed in. Oh my oh. God, he is so sharp with that. Not just the AWP headshots with the... What, what just happened? The USP... Wait. Oh, my. Wait, what? Where, oh, no. We gave... Where, where did that come from? That is... Uh, wait. It's now a one-on-two situation as we've distilled. And I think Valden knows that one might be quad. Okay, he's got that information at least. And the, the repeat comes through Masuda and the... Control being taken early by Vitality. They take that banana space, heal their player off. And it looks like they will be opting for perhaps a prod towards Bracket. Montu, though, I mean, he looked really good in that pistol. He's going to have to do that and more if they want to stop this Bracket take from Vitality. Well, yeah, very impressive rounds on, uh, <laughs> very impressive rounds from uh, Vitality in situations like this. We have yet to see if OG can bring that same level of heat, but I think they've done it once with just the uh, Deagles. Inferno is one of those maps where, I mean, you can't really let time bleed down too much while sussing out map control. You have to make a decision at some point because it's almost always going to be somewhat blind. Uh, it, 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 it costs you players to get information on this map, and that's why anti-ecos are so very scary. Oh, one, two. Challenge here at Porch, but he's not able to find anything. He's still got the double pit set up with 25 seconds. Yeah, Valde. That's a start. Takes down Kyojin. Now Nico's still in the pit, and he's going to have to come up huge, but he just can't find anything. Masuda is swift to take him down, and Apex holding the flank will put an end to the opposing. How, you know, maybe they're not as scared as they once were, but I have a feeling their T-sides are going to come around. Yeah. It's, it seems like Vitality, to their credit, are coming to play like a completely different team than the first day. So credit to... Probably Apex, the support staff, X Taz, their coach, of course. Oh my god, the. But. Wait a second. Well, the bomb is like just going towards the only pistol. That was <laughs> so funny. Okay. Yeah. I think Apex. Put it plainly and directly, Shocks, Kyojin, and Masuda, who have just failed, uh, failed to bring up their individual level enough to make anyone look good. But that story is changing. Right before our eyes, the pages turn. Early Arch Smoke coming out from Vitality here. It looks like they're actually setting up for an A play, uh, which is a great way to get this MAC-10 involved. Apex just jumping through their own arch smoke. He's actually made it all wow. the way deep, but sh and he's finding out so much information. He's segregated the uh, the rotation now, and he's wrapping at this what point. But Montu, with a massive hold towards the porch, leaves it into a 2v3. But yeah, but we know the power of the AWP in the post plant uh, on the A site. And are they going to go for the, cra the, the classic post plant playing within the site or or not. It looks like a heads up play is on the way here for Zaiwu and oh he's gonna refresh the smoke on Moto. Look for some ground to be gained. He is so convinced that somebody is out here and he's correct about it. Nade goes above and Zaiwu, it's all about him really. Misses that first shot. Masuda gets set up. He can't adjust for the second of all gets both. Great retake from OG there. Oh. Alexi B waited, and his presence was everything. This is going to be a close defuse. Wow. That's it's really close, but they got it. They yeah, got they it. had just enough time. Sometimes it feels like you could get even more. Mm -hmm. So it's like it feels like his potentials may be un, you know, untested here on, on Inferno CT side. I, I think when he's in those strong, just anchor positions, he's fabulous. He's everything you want him to be, and sometimes even more. But it's, it's in the default sometimes that you can... You know, get caught a little bit, but this time around, Flames is playing a dangerous game at B. He's uh, backed on up now, but he's gotten a lot of information. And Nico, there we oh go. I mean, his on point right there, showing me up. 
as he takes down Masuda and Flames. He's oh my just God. dancing with the smoke uh, right there. Kyojin has him locked in. I they can't believe he doesn't continue with that spray, actually. He knows he can't oh. be going back to oranges. And the best part is Flames just gets right back into that position, asked to be shot again, and doesn't get killed. That is so ridiculous. So bold. And now shocks. He might have found a timing. No. Uh, okay. The, oh, Nate out from Nico. This is an. But oh, oh wow, he spotted him. That is crazy by Nico. Flash comes out. Shocks is out of the apartments, but Montu oh, is man. there to defend. Great setup. Good crossfire between the two players on this A site. Woo. And it's just Kyojin. Headshot though, not over just yet. <laughs> Nico. I mean, if you see a player, that's guaranteed. This guy is in the end of halls right now. He's a full intention of coming towards my site. You know, you can't take that away information away from me. So. Yeah, that's why, you know, jump spotting and, and just being able to see things and call them out is just huge in this game at uh, every turn, especially that late into a round. Wow. Mon Montu has all the space and information towards alt mid. They, they have to know it's a B play at this point. Alexi B still takes the fight, but there's just so much pressure from OG. It doesn't even matter. I thought a ball plant was coming, actually. Yeah. yeah, I'm really curious what Vitality you're going to be calling in this position. Montu Whoa. doing the same play oh again. God. Is oh. this a replay? No, he's actually running it on the gun round as well. Again, he has so much information right now oh, yeah. towards this Romeo position. He is right there beneath the balcony, and and oh, he knows that Vitality are just not even towards apartments yet. A rotation off from Nico and Vitality, they're being read like a book right now, but there are still a couple players from Vitality. They may, they may check this position. Oh my god. Yeah, it's such an outpost, and he's coming in for the duel. He doesn't win. He doesn't get any compensation, no damage off whatsoever. Rotations are in a tricky spot, and that late approach from the halls, actually, you know, quite smart here from Vitality. Don't know if it was calculated or not. They just evacuated it for the time being, and they're making so much noise leaving the B site. This was definitely heard. They ran the entire way through. Um, Flames all alone, and he doesn't have any information to work with. He's sitting on the site. Uh, he doesn't have much of a play to be made. He connects the cover, but the molly isn't very good, and he cannot win the duel. This is just... Are there mistakes here? Is this unlucky? Oh, this the, the death from Montu is just it's so easy for Apex to play around that. And we saw his mid rounding prowess just a little bit on Dust 2 and he, he does it once again. I mean, they just listen. They don't overcompensate. Sometimes when you kill that forward player, you think, "Okay, that probably means the A bomb site's clear." Which good IGLs, it's it's always going to make a huge difference. The right call there. But Montu comes through with an opening. It's very needed. Yeah. Yeah, that was a freebie. They they tried to skip they tried to skip out on having to throw, you know, a porch molly, a couple of flashes, and shoot the opera back and instead went for an incognito approach, but that gamble cost them. Some people wonder why these dry geeks happen. Sometimes it's just a gamble on the read, which is perfectly normal. And Valda, what an amazing off angle. That's beautiful. I mean That's... I am copying and pasting that one. Yeah. <laughs> Flames finally <laughs> from the spot that he keeps going back to. Oh, if they if they keep five alive here, OG are just so happy. Uh, it's just one of those previous rounds that it feels like, all right, that's okay to lose if we can convert this one. But Shocks, I mean, he's going to try to do as much damage as he can. He still has a full set of utility here, and he hears a lot of what's going on at B right now. Flames is not being shy about his positioning in terms of his sound cues. Yeah, it looks like this game is over, but like, just as you mentioned, uh, all of these stripped players with all their grenades down, and... Um, Vitality with just a l enough money in the bank to buy. They actually have some incentive to try to find some kills if they can in this spot. But Montu will make sure that that is not going to be possible. And at 20 seconds, a full commit once they find that full control. It oh, looks like this is this is fast. Yeah, very fast. Trying to turn the corner on mid, and look who they see: the B anchor in flames over here at Arch, getting out of the smoke. And Valda with another incredible spray transfer. Both sides of mid cracks him open with his protractor and flames within the site. Just a USB in hand, looking for the headshot. Can't win his duel versus Iwu, but the game is already over. Trade from the pit by Nico. Another 2K from him. Another Trying to shoot them back. Yeah, what's great is they somehow double dipped. The Arch Smoke came out, they took Banana Control, but then they had Flames in the close mid position as if they were holding for mid control again. I, honestly, wow. That's bold. I mean, it's also bold and it's also, I mean, what, I mean, do you want 100 bucks with your AWP to kill pistoling players on an anti-eco? Yeah, Montu's kind of feeling himself right now. And he honestly doesn't do that very often. No, <laughs> no, he does not, yeah. But it gets him in trouble there. I mean, thankfully, it's just a pistol round as opposed to... They don't secure the op, though, do they? I, th I think that OG's got control of it. Are they, do they? Or are they? Yeah, they're, they're watching. Okay. 
Just gonna play off each other, a little one, two, A, B, C, but oh, the trades actually work out for Vitality enough that they can make their way to the site. But Lexi B with a nice off. Full wow. util though for Vitality here. They have uh, all the options they could want. Can really flex that playbook here. And it looks like they're going pretty fast towards Bracket once again. That's usually, ooh, ooh okay, this, silent boost. Yeah, this, uh, I think the op is actually, they don't even clear this at all. Oh my God, they don't see it. Alexi gets the opening, they come up lane. Apex knows that they're gonna be here. Nico, just in time, he has been so consistent as an A anchor in this second half after having an abysmal first half. And there are two up on the T side in the two on three. No op for this post plant situation. Will it be a blessing or a curse? Well, Shocks, he's gonna make what? a name for himself here on lane. No way he gets that off the side of the pillar. And this is to equalize a really tough position for Alexi. He's known. Chalks could be all the way around mid and wrapping, and it looks like he's going to turn tail and run. No way Vitality brought this back. That was a Hail Mary play to come up mid after losing two kills in halls like that. I think they also lost one at the bottom of Banana to Lexi B. That, that is uh, just great resilience by Shocks there. That that fight towards Porch was just beautiful. I mean, yeah. clipping almost, the guy through almost the side fraudulent, of the player. Almost yeah. fraudulent. Ridiculous, though. Oh, man. The first player jumping out of Boiler, though, trying to make... Unless you're Shocks, apparently. Yeah, just breaking the game still, and good damage towards Banana. Kyojin's already down to half HP, and it looks like all of Vitality are here at this point. Oh my god, this is like a bot buy, you know what I mean? Like, if they randomly buy weapons, <laughs> this is where they would end up. They got auto shotgun here, uh, an MP9, mixed grenades, and it doesn't work at all. Oh my god, they, they completely lose. It looks like they almost had odds of winning both of those duels. But, they, yeah, they had to take those fights early. Didn't have the guns they exactly wanted to. And uh, OG had to be very careful. There's not actually not much value in them getting kills over saving. Um, and Valda, he's in, a, I guess, a tricky spot. No way he actually wow. gets both. That's kind of that's kind of mental. Yeah, this is, this is really rough moving forward for OG, though, because Vitality is going to be on 14. They won't even really be able to buy next round. So you have to wait until 15-13 to have a, a complete buy. And even at that, Montu... I mean, unless he gets some auto shotgun kills, it's going to be a rough off purchase. We're just <laughs> basically just on the op. And Luckily, he's just been pushing halls every round, so he can just, you know, maybe do even better with this auto shotgun. Wow, no way, Valda. Okay, listen, this exit, this exit damage, it, it, might, it might be more important that OG live, but this is significant to Vitality. They aren't... I, I think if they lose the next two rounds in a row, they'll, you know, auto shotgun oh. kill here for Montu. What is the play? Oh, it's got to be Hall, surely. Yeah, he's making his way in that direction right now. Uh, he's, he's the, the, the worst part for Montu is he pushed down Hall so many times in this in this game, he may be feeling a little bit self-conscious about it. He doesn't have an exactly a, a super high success rate um, doing this. So right now at the end of Hall's, uh, how aggressive, how frisky is it going to be? And it looks like Vitality might be doing a little bit more of what they did last time. We've got this pseudo, you know, banana take with the with the nades to come through but they call it out immediately with the boost no one crosses over to sandbags and this is going to give vitality you know full route into the b site this should be such an easy round for them only one person here to defend all eyes on nico oh, smoke comes out it's a little late though kyojin's up forward nico's able to find one but the flash is there to support masuda's entry and now it looks like it has to be the save call from og but they don't even have that much money to buy in the next round it's so important like you mentioned for Masu montu to try to find an auto shotgun kill he's going to upgrade his gun in the next round regardless of the outcome of this one but he looks like he's tucking tail and running he's actually towards arch right now he's towards long and there's no hope of him getting that money for an op in the final gun round, potentially, of this game. I mean, hope, I mean, Rugga, he's got to be doing the math right now because it is absolutely imperative he makes something happen with this. But it, I mean, if he's going to take this into the next round and try again for, like, some kind of passive hall setup, you got to believe Vitality are going to have huge odds. This is Vitality going to 15. OG, tournament life on the line. Armar points on the line. There's no kit, oh, Alexi, for anybody at home. And yeah, Alexi is just tapping the bomb to hopefully drag them back. And I, I mean, it doesn't get anyone killed. Huge difference. Mm. Very important round. And Montu, oh, okay, tosses the molly down. Zaiwu was there to challenge. And it looks like slightly slower approach from Vitality this time around. Yeah, indeed. They they go to scour uh, through a Hall's control, and you know, there's no way to know 
exactly how much money is in the hands of the CTs. An opening kill comes down, and in this situation, Vitality have been quick to squeeze to the other side of the map. Montu dies, headshot in the back of the head. Nico makes up for it from the pit, but the trade through the pit. And Shox also takes out an arch rotator. Two left alive for the rotate. Shox is here to peek him at mid. Inside of the smoke is Shox. Flame seems very aware of the situation. He walks over into halls. Shox, like ships in the night, passes him. And there's a CT over at the archway. Flames is passing by two Ts. He seems to know where they might be. Is there a chance that this bomb could get stuck in the corner of the site? That's what we don't know. Over in cold is Zaiwu. That op will stick out. He sees one in the corner. Flames in the 1v3 situation. Zaiwu takes him out. Vitality win the round and OG are out of the tournament. OG dead last.